you know, um, I was sitting up there and um, I had a great time kind of sharing the film with you guys. And, um, you know, Rigor Mortis was never intended to be um, a battling type of film. It's sort of, um, for me, it's a, life, uh, a film about life. Um, I focus the film based on the fear, um, the fear of being forgotten for um, this cast of mine. I think um, the hopping vampire genre, it, it, um, it not only represent a big part of my childhood, um, it also represented um, the golden age of, of basically Hong Kong cinematic history. So, um, you know, I'm really grateful that I was given this chance to uh, revisit the genre. Yeah, thank you. So that's why um, he got on board. 
great director and a great friend that um, he never really um, controlled my freedom in, in, in creating the story, how I shot it, or um, how, how the editing would be. Um, she did so sound, he, he, he helped a lot with um, the post-production, um, let's say um, the sound designs, um, and how, how the, the effects would be like, and, and the coloring. So, um, you know, I, I think we work as a great team that uh, we're quite separated you know, and, and directing the film that he's producing it. So that's how we met the management. Any questions from the audience? Yes. It's more like a personal take than it. You know, I don't think I'm pretty much a humorous guy, so I'm going to cook it But anyway, I believe that uh, you know, it's been gone for 30 years, and a lot of genre like this involves a long time. You know, there's lots of songs and vampires, I'm sure you know how, how much they've changed throughout the years. But Hopping Vampire is different. It stopped 30 years ago, and by being able to visit the show, I want to give a different take. And um, I believe that comedic element um, is not what I wanted uh, in the first place to be able to express a story like this. Um, in a story, I just want to um, express the love we have for each other, you know, how, how, how things are put together as a fake, how um, it starts off as, as an accident.
kind of like the book kind of the theme of uh, the Mystery of Empire. Yeah, it's just through that. It just describes the movies. Where were those locations set on the console comes to Hong Kong? There's 20% that we shot and with the exterior that's real, but um, almost 80% of it is all built up and set because um, we had a lot of um, locations scouting and, and, and places to use them. But we have a lot of technical and housing and uh, real estate in Hong Kong housing. It's good to look at.